I'm here now with a freshman mathematics student, Lan Zhou, came to Notre Dame all the way from the city of Nanjing, China. Lan has a passion for music, and in fact, a video of her singing has over a million views on the Chinese version of YouTube. And Lan, welcome to Notre Dame Day. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Thank you. So my name is Lan, and I'm from China, Nanjing. So in China, we have one child policy, so I'm the only child. But here in Notre Dame, I feel like all the classmates and friends, they're just like brothers and sisters. So I feel like this is the home far away from home. So although I'm from China, but I feel belonged. And as a freshman, I think there are so many opportunities and possibilities wait, waiting for me to explore. And I'm so lucky to be here. Uh, it's really an incredible attitude. And, and again, you're someone who grew up 6,000 miles from here all the way across the world. What brought you to Notre Dame? Well, I come from Nanjing Foreign Language School. And every year, we have over like 200 students who will go study abroad. And most of us will go to the United States. And um, I'm one of them, but I went to I led summer program two years ago. So as a high school student, I went here before. And that's how I fell in love with Notre Dame. So I met friends from Mexico, Japan, and Brazil. I feel like at Notre Dame, I see the whole world. This is not just the campus. This is the place that you can see the whole world. And the diversity really impressed me. And I feel like all the people here are just so nice. And I just love Notre Dame so much. And so I applied for Notre Dame. This is the only school that I was applying for, actually. I don't have any other options. This is my first one and only one. And going back to Notre Dame is my dream. And when I got the offer from Notre Dame, I cried because my dream came true. And when I came back to campus, I cried again because I love Notre Dame so much. So no matter how far away from Notre Dame, there's no way to stop me to come back to Notre Dame. It's really great to hear, and we have a lot there in common because every time I come back to Notre Dame, I go to the grotto and I cry a little bit. So <laughs> we certainly have that much going on together. But I want to touch on the, uh, the video a little bit. As we said before, over a million hits uh, on the Chinese version of YouTube. Uh, tell us a little bit about the inspiration behind uh, your video and what went into it. Yeah, so it's like China, we have the voice of China, and one of the finalists was singing Rolling in the Deep. So I feel like, oh, I love this song, and I really want to have my version. So I just recorded my version and upload a video on the website. The website is called Youku. It's like Chinese version of YouTube. And because like my title is like 16 years old girl battling with the finalist of The Voice of China, Rolling in the Deep, and then Youku just liked my video to the home page. And there are so many random people just looking at my video. And it's kind of overwhelming for me at first. But then I feel like um, it's very lucky to have so many views and so many people can hear my voice and I was very very excited so my video was like a cover version for rolling the deep Listen, taking on Adele is a challenge all on its own, so I commend you for even going after that and clearly doing a great job over a million hits. And music's something you're really passionate about. Yep. I, I know you're trying to make a difference with your music, right? Yeah, right. So um, in my high school, a lot of students are very talented, and we're always trying our best to turn our passion into something that we can use to help people in need. So I love music, and I was composing songs. So I published my album in China and sold my my album on the graduation prom and I sold like 40,000 RMB yuan for my album and I donated all of the money to the local charity foundation and help kids to go to school and then I think that I should continue this passion and I should continue to use music as one of the um, things that could help other people so currently I'm building a website that is called Eudaimonia Blossom that is an online platform that could display all of the drawings, paintings, music that is created by people just around us. And then people can see their arts and listen to their music. People can buy them. And so I can make money by the website, but I will donate all the profits to the charity foundations. So it's like a nonprofit website, and I'm currently working on that. And I think I will publish my second album before I graduate because I just love music so much. Turning your passion into something that great is really impressive and I know you're going to get ready to share that passion with us now. You've got a performance ready and I was here during the break listening to it was already uh, pretty blown away. So why don't you uh, 
do your performance for us and show the people at home what I saw. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, it's just a piece of amazing grace. <laughs> Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that has saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm I was blind, but now I see. Thank you. Wow, that was something. I don't think I'm going to have to wait till the next time I come back. I may have just shed a tear there, here and now. Uh, Lon, thanks so much for joining us here on Notre Dame Day. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure.